Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about what to do when you slow down. You know what's going to happen if you're in business or getting into business or thinking about business or anything with business. You're going to slow down at some point, so let's talk about it. Stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy everything and uh, yeah, hundreds of episodes to listen to. Don't necessarily start at the beginning and work your way to work backwards. And get, you know, probably worse over time. <laughs> I don't know. They've been around for seven years. has been doing this, so it's been a very, very long time. Lots of content to watch back. If you are a uh, window cleaner at all, know that my name is Jersey and I'm from windowcleaner.com, the greatest place in the world to buy supplies. So we'll get to the shameless plug later. But I thought this was an interesting one. And I want to start by saying, if you're listening to this and you have an idea for a podcast, please let me know. It doesn't have to be something that you want to learn, something that um, you want me to talk to about and you think other people might get something out of it, but text me. Let me know some show ideas, uh, 862-312-2026. Just shoot me some ideas. I'm always looking. Uh, This actually comes from somebody who uh, has been a window cleaner, um, I believe, for about a year, two years, just about. Um, And it's a great idea. It's actually what to do when you're slowing down. Now, I want to start by saying you will not slow down if you are doing the dentist clothes. <clears throat> Basically, every customer you have is scheduled every six months. It's the way that you do it. If you haven't listened or been listening under a rock, you haven't heard me say it, it's super simple. It's like when you go to the dentist, when you're done at the dentist for that time, they say, here's your next appointment. It's kind of the same concept. It's asking them, hey, would you like to do this in three months or six months? They're gonna say six months, so you're gonna put them on the books. It's a done deal, and because the repeat's there, you're not going to have this slowdown. But if you're experiencing kind of a really big slowdown, you're not really alone. Uh, Anybody else who is um, kind of a kind of a a one and done type person or company who's not doing this rescheduling thing, they're not very big in the rescheduling. Um, you're going to be out there chasing more work. And slowdowns are going to happen because people, you're relying on them calling you. But if you're in business, the way businesses succeed is to have repeat customers. You get them, they love you, they come back. Like the most successful, huge companies are spending barely anything on advertising. Uh, If they are, it's only for new people, but yet they have this giant company rolling. It's because of the repeat person. So with that being said, it's too late to, you know, go back and make you busy now, but start doing the dentist clothes in general. But if you're slow now, it's actually common across the country. It's a a weird slowdown right after summer kind of hit in. It's starting to pick back up now, uh, but uh, it was a little bit um, out of season slow uh, in August, really. So if you're experiencing that when I'm recording this show, it is something that just happened this year. I don't know if it's politically motivated for the election or um, a lot of people said it got, uh, um, it dropped right when um, uh, the assassination attempt on Trump was was happening. I don't know if people watched that and got scared about what's happening, brought into thinking politics were here. I don't know. If I knew, I'd be a rich fellow and um, I'd be living in my uh, ivory tower. So I don't know, but it definitely did slow a little bit. And people are really wondering what they can kind of do for the slowdown. So first and foremost, when a slowdown happens, you can do two things. You can panic or you can plan. Like, that's it. Like if you panic and go, oh my gosh, I need something right now. Those are the guys now that are doing like, I'll clean your windows for $30, right? Like they're just trying to get something. They're not even advertising it on value. They're trying to get price because they think that somehow matters. A lot of really weird crap happening when people start panicking. But if you're not the panicking type or you can not panic, just make yourself not panic, you can plan. And that's part of what is really important. Now this can go into, say you're going into winter if you're not in a snowboard state, snowbird state. Uh, You're gonna know you're gonna slow down if you're, you know, 
pre-spring or getting into the summer lull or wherever you are, or it just happens, instead of panicking, we can plan. And the biggest thing you could possibly do, the biggest, most important thing, is building up systems. It's it's the, the piece to this whole puzzle of having this giant company or super strong company or a company that just is easier to run. Every piece to what somebody would consider a successful company comes down to systems and systematically making things happen the same way all the time. It's the reason McDonald's has pictures of how to stack a burger in the back. It's because they want everyone to be the exact same. If you ever notice, by the way, when you go to McDonald's in the back, they have like almost like caulking guns for ketchup. And it's because one click is the right amount. It's easy, sure, but they don't want some burgers to have more ketchup than others. They want it to be absolutely the same. And if it's the same, you never have to think about it. You never bring in opinion, right? There's a difference between opinion and fact in a lot of this. Fact is just it. It's bidding a window per pane. Opinion is like, oh man, I don't know. It's going to be too much. Maybe this guy is on a fixed income or it's a... Now you're into opinion, right? Building your systems allows you to have a stronger, smoother, larger company with less work. And a system is extremely boring. I know. And I'm going to touch on it for just a second. But a system is just this. When you bid a project, say you're doing um, a, um, uh, a quote for somebody over the phone, right? The process to how that's handled from answering the call to getting the bid to putting them in is a system. It has to be done the exact same way every single time because your brain doesn't think about it. You can do that. The next person can do that. When somebody says, oh, yeah, I can't have anybody bid my my jobs because they just don't get you're, you're bidding on opinion that's why bid on fact build it into a system now how does the system kind of just work in making it simplified is that i know over years that i've changed and honed and, and tinkered with this system because again you don't just start it one day and then go this is how it is forever you have to see what changes what works but once that system's built i know my close rate I'll close almost every single person. And I know my pricing is higher than everybody else in my area. I know my value proposition for my company was better than anybody around. I know the way I could talk to people, answer their pain points, I knew that. I don't have to think about it each time because the process is laid out. It's the same thing with doing your dentist clothes. It's the same thing with um, why there's a marketing calendar, which, uh, you know, we'll kind of talk about a little bit, but all these pieces to the puzzle where if it just happens a certain way, there's no thinking. It can get simplified down. It could be done the exact same way. It could be done every single time. And then you're like, well, this doesn't help me when I'm slow. I know. I know. Like I said, we are too late to get yourself busy now. Don't go out there and be like, I'll do it for $50. I'm just free with the... That's not why people are buying window cleaning. It's not why you're slow is because your window cleaning is too expensive. So why would you drop the price? It's not gonna increase your sales and it's not gonna get you work. What we're talking about is a long-term, we plan on the business here, right? Job versus business, we've talked about that. Job is like the right now, but the business is this thing. And here's an interesting fact. If you are slow, take this, Put it in the back of your head. Remember this saying or phrase for your entire business or career. But you'll never be as slow as you are right now because your business will always be stronger next year. It will always be busier next year. It will always have more people and more stuff and more momentum and more traction and more improvements from you. It will never be this slow again. That's the goal. The goal is to not have slow. The goal is to be as, as predictable as possible. And it comes back to systems. Now's the time you can build the systems because you can't do that when you're so busy. You're just too busy putting out fires and doing everything else, right? You have to come back, take it in, build a system while you can so that when things start to call, which we're very close to having this fall uh, pop happen again, you got to be ready. You can't just expect things to just fall into place. Build the systems of everything. That's bidding, scheduling, uh, trucks, 
uh, gear, crews, everything has a system and you have time to do it, do it now. I've said this before too, and I, I promise you, the better the business, the more busy they are in an off season, right? Let me rephrase that. Some people, they get to winter and they're like, all right, well, I'm just gonna sit around, play some video games and do my, cool, that's your thing, that's your thing. But a good business, those great businesses that everybody looks at and like, man, how do they do it? They are busier in the slow times than they are. They're not worried about cleaning windows and they're not doing all this stuff. They're worried about the structure of the business so that when things happen, it's smooth. You can change some systems. Lay some things out that this year you could double your company and not feel it. I know a lot of people who do. Don't think that it's not possible at all. Remember, don't look at this like instant now. Well, how can I double my company if I can't get customers right now? That's not the point. The point is in the year. A year is a long time, right? Build your marketing. Get your marketing stuff ready. What's coming up? When I'm recording this, it is September. So we got fall. Full window cleaning. I got gutter cleaning. If you're doing snow removal, snow removal is coming up. If you're doing Christmas lights, Christmas lights are advertising now. Those ads should be out now for that. What does the future piece look at? If you're panicked and not planning, you're looking at the now. How do I get customers right this second? Oh my gosh. And if you don't have enough money for food, that is obviously something you have to focus on. But when you're building a business, you have to look at that kind of structure, the, the strength of the business, and just kind of the the idea that you'll never be this slow again if you do everything right. And there's all those pieces. Planning that marketing is it. Because as soon as that busyness happens, or as soon as people start calling, you flip a switch, your marketing is off. You know that. You should have already had your Christmas light Facebook ads done if you do Christmas lights. Uh, gutter cleaning, you should have already had ads done. You should have your mailers already done if you're doing EDDM. All of these things, they should have already been done if they're not. Yesterday was better than today, but today's better than tomorrow. So do that plan, your marketing. You have time. Time is the one thing that you have that is absolutely valuable that you can't get, right? I could always make more money. I can always sell more jobs. I can always have a bigger company, blah, blah, blah. But you can't ever have more time. You can't. Every single person who is on their deathbed says they wish they had more time. You have it now. Don't misuse your time. That sounds uh, pretty morbid, actually. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be morbid, but you know what I'm saying. Timing is it. Everybody looks at it as a bad thing. Oh, it's slow. I don't know what to do. Sweet, finally, it's slow. Talk to big companies when they slow down. They're like, ah, oh, finally, it's slow. We can get stuff done. Pull a truck off. Let's drop a crew so we can get oil changes and tire rotations and maintenance. Let's take all the gear out of that truck and re upfit it with all brand new stuff. We got to get ready for this. That's companies. They're not the ones going, oh man, what should I do right now? It's so slow. By the way, if you're on pro window cleaning, uh, and you're slow, and you decide you want to troll the world, know that I am very dissatisfied with you. <laughs> These trolls are just uh, out of the woodwork. It's usually a winter thing. People get busy or bored in the winter and they become trolls, but man, this year has been crazy bad for the trolls. But I digress. That's me venting to you uh, guys and gals. But... I would not be doing my due diligence if I didn't throw a shameless plug in. And that's what I'm doing right now. My name is Jersey from windowcleaner.com. I'm a rep. I make money by putting in orders for people like you. And it costs you nothing extra to do that. So don't think by sending me something, you know, or letting me put in your order, oh, it's only 50 bucks. I don't care. Every order, every single order is absolutely awesome. And by the way, if we're ever having a sale or something and you text me, it locks you in. Like if you text me over the weekend, I'm not going to, if it's like Saturday at two in the morning, I'm not going to text you back, but don't put your order in then at like two 30 and be like, I couldn't wait. Well, yes, you can, because they just not going to ship till Monday, but I want to do that. I'll make it easy for you. Just shoot me a text 862-312-2026. I'm going to give you the easiest hack ever. If you're logged into your account, just click add to cart. 
you put it all in there. And then when you go to text me in your checkout screen, there's a little underlying thing above all like the pay buttons. It says, save this cart. If you click that and text me, not only will it give you a cart ID, which makes it really, really easy, but it's a snapshot. Then I can see your cart and I can literally push go and it costs you nothing extra. It's the same effort for you, but it's helping me out. I get people weekly ask me about Patreon and all this other stuff. I don't do that. I don't do the Patreon stuff because um, I put orders in. And um, if you order, which all of you do at some point, even if it's not every single day or minute or month, when you put it in, I would love to be the guy. So let me know, please. It's no bother to me. It absolutely is how I afford my hair gel, I guess people always say. Um, but anyway, uh, also, if you haven't yet, another amazing thing that I uh, have a part of is uh, American Window Cleaner Magazine. AWC is an awesome magazine. I bought the magazine like three years ago. We have 5 x the subscriber base. Um, the magazine has been redone. The look is redone. The color schemes, just everything about it is new and awesome. Go to awcmag.com. If you wanna support the industry as a whole, do that, but also get an amazing magazine. Not only is it uh, shipped to your door every single month, but of course it comes with the super rad uh, sticker sheet every single month, uh, all window cleaning stickers, and you can put out and everything. Okay. Shameless plug works. Eventually I will get you. If you're not using me yet, you hopefully will. I'll wear you down. Um, but anyway, back to the show. Um, if you're slow, remember, don't panic, be active. And that's exactly what this is. This active part is something that you only have time to do when you have time to do it. If you're scheduling, you're really good at time management, maybe, but um, we're firefighters. Like when things are going crazy and it's busy, there's a lot of other stuff. We miss stuff. That's why marketing calendar we always talk about. That's why automation we always talk about. All that stuff, right? The responsive bids and the whatevers. That parts or pieces to it all help because when you're so busy, things still have to get done. And you get to now be active. And that just means being everywhere. Taking your content, your pictures, your B-roll, your, your everything and putting it out there. Facebook business pages, Google listings. By the way, I have done a show with uh, Monk SEO. It's uh, Bobby from Monk SEO, my absolute favorite SEO company, but they also are into this Google uh, places thing. I think I've done two episodes now with them. Go back and watch that. It's amazingly fascinating. You could do this stuff even on your own if you're not ready to, to hire somebody doing that. But Google places, Google maps, uh, Google my business, which is now something different, right? You have Facebook pages, an Instagram page, all of these things that you could put your info in. You can meta tag, you can rank, you can help your SEO to the website, all of that with new pictures, being active, jumping on forums, not window cleaning forums. I mean, you could do that too, but I'm talking about like mommy forums or people start answering questions as a specialist, as somebody who knows what they're doing. Don't sell now's not the time. If it's slow, it's slow. You're not going to change the entire world by putting an ad out. That's awesome. What you're going to do is create value, right? Be active. Now's the time you can be active. So take advantage of it. Jump on mommy groups, which sounds so ridiculous, but just search mommies of whatever your town is. I guarantee there's groups. I guarantee somebody's talking about something, right? Somebody's on one of those groups like, I use Dawn and Vinegar, and I just wanted to tell my mommies that it works. You could jump on and be like, yeah, you know, that works. Actually, I've been a window cleaner. We've had our company now for 10 years, and we still use Dawn as our main ingredient. It's a great product. It really leaves your windows shiny. Something like that. Until you understand the concept of business, people go, well, that doesn't sell anything. It didn't do anything. No, because if you sell all of the time, and that's all you do, no one listens. What value are you adding? Because what happens then is somebody looks at it and goes, oh, I cleaned my windows. Yeah, you know, it didn't turn out really good, but that one guy was saying he's been a window cleaner. He's owned this window cleaning company. Hey, you said you used Dawn. What do you guys charge? Right now, they're the ones taking it into him. You didn't sell. You didn't spam it. 
They listen to your message. Eventually, you're giving people benefits. You're giving people value. They're going to want to use you. One of the big reasons that I love doing this podcast, A, is that I've had so many people, which is phenomenal, but they've said, hey, uh, the podcast got me where I am or has helped me or got me through something or has helped in any way. When somebody says that's phenomenal, that's literally the, the best thing you could possibly do is help somebody else out. I genuinely think that in other people's happiness genuinely brings me happiness, which I'm in an awesome spot for. But I also hope I can provide value. And in return, at some point, if you're getting supplies, you're going to buy them through us anyway. Hopefully you use me instead of just buying them through the website, right? That's not my ulterior motive, but I make money when that happens. But I want to provide enough value. Somebody goes, you know what? Yeah, man, I've listened to all this hours of content. Look, I'm going to let them put my order in. Right? It's the same thing in window cleaning where if you add enough value, eventually they're going to give you value back. It's a very interesting thing. Because even if they don't use you, you've helped somebody. You've just genuinely helped the world. You've genuinely helped people. Even if it's somebody's little itty bitty issues. Even if somebody's like, I'm sharpening a pencil, but it won't sharpen. Oh, turn to the right instead of the left. Oh my gosh, thank you. You've just changed somebody's something. It could have been the littlest thing in your head. You feel like it's nothing. You helped someone. That's genuinely what our purposes are in life is helping people, I think. So go out there and help. Add value. But in the long run, they see you as an expert. And they go, well, of course, if I want to call somebody, that one guy I always see, he's posting on everything. He's always helping people. I'm going there. He's not spammy. He's not salesy. I'm going to go there. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to get a quote. That little piece is phenomenal. If you go in one of these groups and somebody's having a really hard time, and they're like, oh my gosh, we had a kitchen fire. This is terrible. Mommies, I don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. Jump in. Hey, I'm Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. I just want to let you know that um, here's the number to our office. Give them a call and schedule a window cleaning with us for free. I want to take care of it for you. You're in a tough spot. I know it sucks. I know this isn't much, but it's what I can offer. I hope it helps. You sending that one little thing shows everybody else that you're there. It's another reason to be heard. It's another reason to be seen. People are catching on to that. Is it like, well, you're only doing nice things to get something in return? If it happens, awesome. If not, you just help somebody who's in one of the terrible, worst times, worst point of their life, you're helping them. If it comes back to you in other ways, awesome. Karma goes both ways, right? Be active. And if you're active, do yourself a favor, even if it's staged, do B-roll. B-roll is just pictures of somebody cleaning. It's a close-up of your hand. It doesn't have to be the house. It could be different angles. On one house, you could have enough pictures and content on one house to, to fill 100 posts. Different angles. You can make it look different. You can do different things. You can do kind of artsy ones. It's just B-roll. It's pictures that capture people's attention that you can then post and keep your marketing materials good. You can put pieces into the Facebook ads, you can put it into the posts, you can put it into all of these other things. If somebody asks you, you have these pictures, you can put it on your website. B-roll and fresh content is absolutely necessity for SEO, for ranking. Google loves to see you're doing something new. You're doing something for yourself. These are brand new pictures that don't exist online. Your new fresh content, they will rank you. Now, take it as its actual truth, it's not going to be as good as hiring an SEO company doing this. I had somebody, this is like two years ago. He says, man, did I spend a month? I posted a new picture on my Facebook thing every single day of the week for a month. And we're not even ranked any better. It's like, yeah, okay, well, yeah, instantly it didn't happen. That's why when you hire an SEO company, it's a time thing. It takes time. They're actively doing something you can't even do. But putting content out helps that rank. If Google, which yes, there's lots of other ones, but we always talk Google because they're the king. But if Google sees new stuff, they go, hey, this is going to give a great experience to our customers and they help you rank. Rankings do not just happen. If you have stuff out there ever and it's stale, you saw I put it out there like the ad, you know, it's been running from, it's the worst thing you possibly do. 
It's not helping you. But if you put out content and it's fresh, it helps everything. And you can't get content all the time when you're super busy. You're like, well, yeah, but then we're on jumps. Yeah, but then you're too busy and the schedule's too tight to then take pictures and get stuff. Like, do that. If you're slow right now, take a day. Go do your parents' house, your aunt's house, your sibling's house, your cousin's house, your neighbor's house. Go and spend a day with the guys. Bring them out. Do a photo shoot. Get hundreds of pictures. It's content. It's B-roll. It's stuff you cannot do when you're busy. You have to do that now. Remember, downtime is valuable if you have value in it. And that's one. B-roll is something you can do. And a lot of people don't. I don't understand. I think every crew that runs should at least take a picture from a job site. One picture. It's crew chief's job. Somebody's working. He's walking around the house. He snaps a picture. An angle or something. Get the content. Content is king. King. And strengthen your core. If you work out, you know everything is tethered to your core. Sure, you can have big arms, shoulders, traps, cool. But everything in function is attached to your core. The core structure of a business is how the business can flourish. People miss that and they look too much at the outside of this ring. A business is just that. The very center starts with the core, the fundamentals of the company, the all of that. The outside's the sales. And we're like, oh my gosh, it's so slow. I got to go. I'm going to go door to door. right here. What? So you just need to get a couple of customers now instead of build the business. Like that's a flash in the pan. If you go and you do drugs right now, You will feel great, potentially, depending on what you do, and you don't kill yourself, for a few minutes, maybe a couple hours. But guess what? That goes away. And then what happens? You feel worse than you did before. And all you're doing is going to find more drugs. Now, this is not a PSI on drugs. I'm using it as a metaphor. But when you're just chasing the job, that's all you have. When you're building the company, that's what you have, right? If you're going to chase that high that feels great, I got a customer, yes, and then you go away and you didn't do anything else to keep the customer, you just got to go and find more customers. And you spend your entire life chasing that instead of building the company. The strongest, best companies are the ones that have support staff when they're to that point of big in the office where people go, well, how can I hire an office person? They're never going to make me money. Yes, they will. You can't do everything that you want to do. When you come back to the core and how everything is structured, everything can be built off of that. If you spend your slow time building the core of the business, strengthening that, growth doesn't feel like anything. I have a company that I've... uh, been talking with for a very long time. And it was very interesting to me that they they wanted to grow. Everybody wants to grow and they have this um, idea and concept and and uh, I want to get big. We always talk about goals and when I do private talks with people, it's, okay, what's your goal? Let's work to those, that kind of thing. And a goal, this is a while ago, but was to be bigger, right? Throwing out numbers. And it was like, okay, well, let's reverse that. If we get to those numbers, this, this, and this, can you handle it? Oh, gosh, no. Okay, then we're not focused on the right thing. Let's focus on the core to strengthen that so that we can do that. Without exaggeration, I've had multiple companies do this. But the one company that I uh, know more than doubled in one year. Not trying to get more customers, not trying to double, not trying to get that big number, that end goal. They were strengthening their company. They were building in on the core and it happened. Now, you're like, oh, great, cool, yeah, it's neat. Now, mind you, this is a giant company. This is a uh, seven-figure company. 
Uh, but with all that being said, we were talking and I said, you know, what's crazy about all of this is I have less stress this year than I did last year. They doubled their company in one year and they have less stress than they did the year before. It's because they're busy in the slow times. It's because they're busy in the um, down times because they focus on the core so that everything else falls in. If you build that side of your business, everything else makes sense. Everything else makes sense. It can be handled, it can be done right, it can be done comfortably, and the big thing is, yeah, we make great money. That's awesome. But I don't wanna have to work 100 hours a week, have stress and ulcers and lose sleep and all of that. I wanna do what we do, but also have it be comfortable. And that is what we're trying to do. That's the entire goal. So if you're slow, think about it as an adding opportunity or benefit. It's hard, I know, but it's definitely something to do. So again, about planning, segue into me being a rep. Uh, yeah, rep with windowcleaner.com. I'm gonna give you my cell phone again. So if you're listening, if you're out on the job, pull it out, I'm gonna give it to you. Type it in your phone, save it. I'm the only Jersey you know, I think, probably, maybe. But my number, ready? It's 862-312-2000. Text me. Call me. I'm on the phone a lot, so text me. It's always better anyway. Text me. Let me put the orders in. Even if you don't put it in your cart, just be like, yo, Jersey, I need this, this, and this. That's what I do. I want to make it easy on you, and I want to, you know, be able to afford food and stuff. So thank you for those of you who do that. Also, thank you to anybody and all of you who have a subscription to the AWC magazine. If you went out and you went to awcmag.com and you got a subscription, just search the American Window Cleaner magazine. It's been around since 1986. It's better than it's ever been in the history of the magazine, but it is specifically for the window cleaner. That's what it is. You're a window cleaner. This is it. Also, you get the stickers, which are totally cool, and it builds builds culture. I like that. So anyway, until next week, if you're slow, don't panic, but plan. But more importantly, keep being epic.